Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan. Welcome to Engelgeist. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. For those of you that support me over on Patreon, thank you so very much for your subscriptions. I greatly appreciate them. This is the daily forecast. It is set for Wednesday, the 29th of December. It is not solely set for that date. So if you're seeing this on a different date from the 29th, I would listen to the message rather than the date and see if the message pertains to a situation you could be dealing with. If it makes sense, feel free to use it. If it doesn't, that's okay. Nothing's wrong or broken. You're just working on something different. So um, uh, please check out the drop down menu underneath the daily videos because in there is some instructions on what I want you to think about, um, things I want you to keep in mind, how to get into contact with me and follow me on social media. If you want to book up a private reading, it also tells you what decks I'm using at the current, you know, on the current video that you're watching. So if you're interested in like purchasing that deck, you can use my Amazon affiliate links. All that stuff is in there. So let's get into this. And thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined. I appreciate your um, subscription. And um, let's see what the cards have to say this morning. I woke up with the most like ripper of a headache. I don't know why my head hurts. Coffee is helping, but it's not completely taking it away. Do not chew that. You will get electrocuted. And then I will have to call you an electrocutie. You're getting all wrapped up in the wires. Don't bonk. This dog, he's so, like, busy. Like, in every way. He's as cute as can be, and he has the sweetest disposition, but he's not all that bright. Like, he's bright, but he's just, like, busy. You know, like, like puppies can be, where they're just in everything all the time. Like, eating things he shouldn't be, chewing on the walls, things like that. All right, so... <laughs> Here's our card. Six of Pentacles. Beautiful card. I love this. Um, the Six of Pentacles is very much about balance and it's Pentacles energy, which is earth energy, right? So when I think about this, it's also to me, it's a, in the traditional tarot, it's depicted by two people that are uh, looking like they're begging and there's a gentleman that is handing them money and a scale, right? And it's like sort of like uh, bringing things back into balance, like the sharing a little bit, which we actually yesterday's grounding stone was sharing. Now that I think about it, um, sharing a little bit and then getting a little bit back, right? Like what you give, what you get kind of thing is sort of the vibe that I get with the six of pentacles. And I also always kind of get this sort of feeling from the six of pentacles. Even those of us that don't have much, you know, pentacles oftentimes is associated with money and, and material wealth, right? But there's things that we can have that are wealth or assets that we can uh, uh, be um, uh, open with or share with, right? Does that make sense? Like our time, our attention, our guidance. Our insight, you know, if we've been in, say, a similar situation and we have somebody that's struggling within a situation, if we just listen to them and lend them an ear, to me, that's like about maintaining that balance or restoring that balance and, and giving something of ourselves, even if it's not monetary, right? But it will help to restore the balance that the Six of Pentacles, to me, represents. It's it's this sort of um, stability... Um, you know, uh, could, <laughs> for lack of a better terminology, I don't know why, but my brain's going to like, you know, the Lion King, the circle of life, you know, like what, everything that goes around comes around kind of thing. That to me is Six of Pentacles energy. And so being conscious of that and being aware of that and giving where we can and receiving where we can, right? If there's some of us that are in need of reception, right? If we need something right now, asking for it is not a crime, guys, right? If we use that four of swords from yesterday and we asked, you know, we checked in with ourselves and we got clear on maybe what it is we might need to make our world a little bit easier, better, prosperous. It's okay to ask for that assistance if we need assistance in, or collaboration from another to help us get there, right? We don't necessarily know that we won't be helping them by allowing them to see the gifts that they have to give, right? They might be able to feel better about themselves or they might become aware of, oh, wow, my intelligence or my, you know, my advice is, is a value, right? So we might be showing them something that they don't 
otherwise seen by being in a position of need. So whether you're the giver or the, the receiver on this card, it should be a beneficial and balancing um, uh, position to be in, right? If we hold it that way. Now, the middle of this week, remember where this is the Wednesday card. So the middle of the week underpinning energy is that high priestess card. Now she's not to be joked with, I love her. She's Piscean energy, right? So she's very psychic, emotional, spiritual, um, uh, secretive in a way. I feel like this connects us into our environment with the Six of uh, Pentacles in a way that's balanced. And I keep saying that word balanced. You guys are probably tired of hearing it. But also connected emotionally, spiritually. You know, it may not feel comfortable to us to maybe ask for assistance. It may not feel... Or it may not feel like, you know, um, I don't know, uh, like if, we are, if we're being asked to be of assistance to someone else, try and be comfortable with it, even if it doesn't make sense, right? That's the, the high priestess part of this, is if something comes out of the blue or from a place of unknown or from a place that's unexpected, don't be surprised by that. That would be that high priestess energy. And she's giving you the opportunity to trust your instincts, to trust your spiritual self, to trust your emotions and moving towards doing the right thing within the situation or allowing someone else to do the right thing for you within the situation. And it could offer some very wonderful surprises, is my feeling, okay? Now, for the Heal Yourself card, it's Phoenix Rising. We've seen her before. Card number 32, which is a five. Fives are about change. Expecting that shift or that change. Remember, we see the tower at the end of this week. And we've also got that card self-sabotage going on underneath this. Are we changing? Are we rising up out of our own self-undoing? Are we rising up out of our own pessimistic thinking? Are we rising up and being reborn into maybe a more giving um, connected, compassionate, vulnerable human being. That would be the beauty of all of this. That would be the nature of, like, say, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress and some of the cards we've seen this week. It's about being more nurturing and uh, maybe giving rather than, um, uh, uh, t like, taking and all of that. Does that make sense? We did see that stone uh, generosity also, which is a, a form of giving to both ourselves through the Four of Swords, and then we saw sharing, right, yesterday. So there is this sort of exchange that should be happening with us, within our environment, with those around us, that should be beneficial, and within ourselves, that should be beneficial in bringing about that peace that we want, that we see, right? She has the knowledge in front of her as she works her little magic there, right? So... Um, work within your own magic and trusting that magic or that knowledge, that wisdom and allowing that change to take place to bring us and restore us back into a place of balance and, and um, serenity ultimately. Now, the grounding stone for the day, this is just the principle to ground in today or something to focus on. The word is faith. Having faith in the changes that may be at hand, having faith in the path that you may be on, having faith that, you know, if you have needs, if you are in the more receptive position where you do need help to get where you need to go, then, you know, having faith that that will be answered for you. The high priestess, the, the spirits, the, the universe, whatever you, however you want to refer to it, will respond to you in kind. Just have that faith, not only within yourself, but also within the universe around you, that it will carry you. It will um, supply you with whatever it is that you need so that you may share it with others or so that others may share it with you, right? You know, it's all kind of feels like a very, what's the word, like cosmically interconnected is the feeling that I'm getting, especially with that sky around that woman in the Six of Pentacles and then thinking about the high priestess and how uh, weirdly cosmic she looked it does feel like there is this maybe this reconnection or rebirth that's happening with ourselves maybe it's a renewal that's happening with, within ourselves or our spirit and how we connect to our world around us as this year comes to a close and we begin to start a new year right how do we want that new year to look let's start to build upon that and create that from our mind and from our heart and from our ideas and thoughts okay that is your forecast for the day thank you so much for tuning in i hope you guys enjoyed it please hit that thumbs up button if um, you enjoyed it 
share this video out with those that you think would be able to utilize it. And please, if you're new to me, subscribe, leave a question or comment if you have any on the video. I do read them all and I hit the like button on them so that you're aware that I've read them. And again, I thank each and every one of you for tuning in. I really would love to see this channel grow over the next coming year. So let's see what happens. All right, take care and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.